There is a high-tech, Olympic-caliber competition underway in Florida this weekend. It is a robot versus robot contest. And as Vanita Nair shows us, the idea is to develop a new generation of machines that both save lives of people in trouble and minimize risk to first responders. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the 2013, 2013 DARPA Robotics Challenge. At this Pentagon-sponsored competition in Florida, 17 teams of scientists and engineers are testing robots to go where man cannot go. Gil Pratt is a program manager at the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, known as DARPA. We worked with first responders to find out what kinds of tasks they would really like a robot to be able to do at a distance from them. This event, featuring real robots, is one of the phases of DARPA's Robotics Challenge, an initiative that began as a response to the nuclear disaster in Fukushima, Japan, nearly three years ago. What if we had a robot that could go in there, working at a distance from a human being, and do more than just observe the situation? The robots here are not at that stage. Controlled by their human operators, they perform various challenges. Driving a car, closing a valve, and walking over a simulated rubble field. Tony Stentz is the director of the National Robotics Center at Carnegie Mellon University. Stentz and his team designed and built CHIMP for this competition at a cost of three and a half million dollars. I could see machines like this uh, operating in um, uh, underground mines where there is a risk of fire, explosion, or a collapse. So uh, there are a number of potential applications. The finals will be held next December. The winning team will be awarded a two million dollar prize and a chance to turn science fiction into science fact. Benita Nair, CBS News, New York.